Hi everyone, welcome to Bonnie Caroline Makes Cards. Today's card features a beautiful digital stamp set by Gracie Ellie Design, Hope and Strength. I began by creating a dusky evening background on Canson XL watercolor paper using Magello Mission Gold watercolors. I used a jumbo round silver black velvet brush to apply large amounts of water to both the front and the back of the panel. Applying water on both sides of the paper ensures that it will lay flat on my media mat. Continuing with this brush, large brush strokes are applied of lilac, blue and sepia. I then dropped in more sepia. Because my panel is so wet, the paint travels nicely. I tip up my panel on all four sides to help that color move around. I then created highlight areas for each of the dragonflies by dropping Gonzai Tombi's white metallic paint onto the wet panel. I let the panel sit for about a half an hour. Of course it was no near dry but it gave me an idea of how much it was going to lighten. I continued layering on more color onto the panel adding in deep yellow and more sepia. As color was added, it was followed up with more water so I would not have any hard edges. By the way, the post-it tape is there for absolutely no reason at all. Again, the panel was tipped to help move that paint around and get some blending between the colors. I toned down the bright white highlights with a little bit of yellow paint and then followed up again with some more of the white metallic. The panel was left to mostly dry before adding the final touches. To deepen the tone of the background, not using very much water, I put sepia around the edges of the panel. As I tipped the panel, I added in additional water to the center so that the paint would travel and soften as it moved towards the center. This panel was still quite wet and it was left to dry for several hours before I continued working on it. I tested it for dryness by touching it. If there had been any coolness to the touch, I would have known that there was still moisture in the panel. I used my favorite medium for creating spatter, Dr. P. H. Martin's Bleed Proof White. And it does exactly as the name suggests. It does not absorb the color and stays bright white. I mixed it with a little bit of water to thin it down on an acrylic block and then I use my smallest paintbrush to dip and tap onto my panel. This method creates a very fine spatter. The spatter dried quickly and I was able to move on to my final step. Using Simon Says Stamps Snow Stencil, I applied Gina K Glitz Glitter Gel. Because the holes are concentrated on one end of the stencil, I applied one half of the panel, then turned it and applied on the second half. While the panel was drying, I printed off five small dragonflies and the sentiment on Nina Solar White 80 pound cardstock. The dragonflies were Copic colored. For the wings, I used V20. BV06, B39, and B93. The body was colored with W6. Because the dragonflies are small, I only needed to apply one layer of color. This made the coloring go very quickly. After fussy cutting each of the dragonflies, a layer of Nouveau Glitter Drops White Blizzard was applied to the wings. This gel dries clear and is super sparkly, creating a beautiful jewel-like effect. I blended Distress Oxide ink, Scattered Straw and Walnut Stain on the small sentiment panel. 
Because the Distress inks stay wet for a while, I was able to coat it with Wow Clear Sparkle Embossing Powder. I used my craft pick to hold the panel in place so that I could heat emboss it without burning my fingers. I decided to emboss it a second time to enhance the sparkly, shiny effect. With the elements completed, I'm ready to assemble my cart. Both the background panel and the sentiment panel were mounted on black sheet foam. The background was then mounted on A2 size black cardstock. Black foam squares were placed under the wings of the dragonflies. Before adhering any of the elements to the panel, I first laid them out to see if I was happy with the design. With a few adjustments here and there, everything was adhered to the panel. Gracie Ellie Designs Hope and Strength stamp set contains two different styles of dragonflies. I've included a photo of another card that I made using the other dragonfly. Thank you so much for your visit today. I always appreciate your time.